Couple areas we're just hammering some samples out so we can do some XRFs. Check the copper, zinc, and lead results for these. So this is the first area here, and you just have a massive sulfide vein right here. Uh, it's about uh, 20 centimeters thick down here. It gets a little bit thicker. This is all quartz here. Quartz stringers all over beside it. So the value um, for this is probably going to be deeper down. You're probably going to have some kind of mineral in contact with the quartz. It's pretty common for that to happen on this property. But uh, this is in contact here with quartz up here, and we wanted to see if this thing has any values right here. So I just annihilated this area a bit, and uh, I think this is a good enough sample to test. So this is just a small little piece of uh, the vein. The vein would be about this thick. And uh, this right here, this is all silicus rock. This is actually quartz. And uh, it looks a little off color, and that's because it's been chloritized. This is a chlorite schist in here, and you have uh, volcanic tuff, which is also been chloritized. So this is mostly going to contain iron pyrite, probably a little bit of values for, for copper in there, but I don't see this being too high in, in base metals, but uh, we'll test it anyway. Small little stringer right there. These are some of the samples we're pulling out. You got some malachite staining in there. This is calcopyrite, minor pyrite. So these ones are going to show up for some copper for sure. So here's a couple loose ones that we found just beside the little vein. He's hammering more off right now. So I'd say the vein is maybe 20, 25% mineralized, but it definitely varies. This looks like your typical VMS deposited material where you'd see pretty good gold and silver values as well. So this vein here widens to about 30 centimeters wide. It's mostly barren, but you have areas like this and like this where mineralization has come into contact, partially mineralizing some of the quartz. And uh, we got some samples here with some mineralization. We'll hammer a couple more off. So here's some of the samples. You do have ones that are quite a bit more mineralized than this, but I wanted to get sort of average samples. You have about uh, 10 to 25% mineralization in this quartz vein. You do have big hunks where there's just solid calcopyrite, but that's not uh, indicative of what this grade would be. So you can see it's mostly calcopyrite here with the occasional little bit of 
iron pyrite, you have some malachite and azurite staining from your copper sulfides. So that's that showing. So the next samples we got from in here, I won't go up there and actually show it because there's a bee's nest in there now that uh, is kind of disturbed. So um, we'll take a look at these samples, which I pulled from that spot. And you can see the minor calcopyrite on some of these. And there's a little bit of quartz in there. You can see the quartz with your malachite staining. This is a tefacious rock that's been chloritized. There's a mix of pyrite, calcopyrite. So there's quite a few of these. There's a little bit of sphalerite by the looks of it. So you're probably going to have a tiny bit of values for zinc. And this host rock here has tons and tons of stringers like this all throughout in this whole zone. So this is kind of indicative of a stringer. What you'd see, there's hundreds of these little tiny things in this zone. And then there's tons of larger ones. For instance, this right here is a good example. You have quartz, pretty large amounts of quartz here quartz there, you have schists that are deteriorated, and you have iron sulfides there. This is from another vein. Coarse pyrite. And if you take a look at this, this rock comes from this zone. You can see just how many sulfides are in here with your quartz. It's all deteriorated. These aren't going to have very much value, this iron sulfides. But it's when you get the calcopyrite in there is when you start seeing the good gold, silver, copper, some lead, and some zinc. And uh, like this is a huge chunk of iron sulfides here. Iron sulfides and quartz. Same with over there. This is all iron sulfides here. Running with quartz again. So this stuff won't have very good values, but the calcopyrite sure will. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video and some XRF results. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys when we find more shiny.